S-Glow is very similar to S-Glint. Um, instead of glinting the image, it's glowing the image, um, and it works pretty much the same way. Um, I won't spend too much time getting into the details of the various parameters in the effect editor since they are so similar to S-Glint, um, but you can see we've got threshold here, and um, the one that's unique to glow is glow width, and you can see I can change how wide that glow looks. I can bump up the brightness. It's a little bit easier to see. Um, one thing that I actually like to do with this is create sort of an overexposed look and then keyframe that like, like the image is flashing. You can do some really cool stuff with this. So what I'll do is I'll turn the glow width all the way down to zero. And now you can see that my picture looks really overexposed. It's kind of cool. And then we can start setting keyframes on our brightness and keyframe like every two frames and make the picture sort of flash, which is really neat. So let's copy that zero keyframe there and go forward two frames, paste, and then I'll copy my bright keyframe and then go forward two frames and paste. So you get this flashing look, which is kind of cool. Now, if you want to get, this could also be used to create sort of like a lightning, you know, the glow from lightning. And uh, what I might do is um, make it look blue, sort of blue. So, um, you know, tint your glow. Whoops, not that color. But maybe 100. Sort of a lightning blue. Endless creative possibilities with, uh, with this. It's a lot of fun. I love S-Glow.